Hey guys, I'm Kalilo Reynolds and it's time for another episode of Money Mondays JA brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. Cygnus Credit Investments has decided on an additional public offer, APO. The Jamaica Stock Exchange, JSC, made the announcement on April 9. Now, we've known for some months now that Cygnus was planning to come to the market to raise additional capital. We just didn't know how exactly they were going to do it. Back in December, CEO of Cygnus Capital, Beresford Gray, came on my other program, Taking Stock, and indicated they were considering a rights issue. He said they'd be looking to raise 35 million U.S. dollars, 15 million through debt, and 20 from the market. So let's come to this 35 million U.S. that you guys are planning to raise next year. How are you going to raise that money? Our intention is to really top both the equity and the debt capital markets. Um, we are already far down the wicket in terms of the debt side, in terms of we already have commitments and we will close that fundraising by the end of this year. And the equity side, we are assessing the possibility of a rights offering mm -hmm. and that will be early in the new year and we will advise the market and the shareholders accordingly. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, these are essential strategic imperative for Cygnus credit investment in terms of driving growth and shareholder values. The demand is significant and we have designed different products which the medium-sized markets really like and as a consequence we are seeing the demand. So a rights issue would be coming up early next year. What's, can you say at this time, what's the mix between debt and equity that you're going to be looking at? Uh, good question. The, the mix is going to be probably about 15 million in debt of the 35 and 20 million in rights issue. So we now know that they've decided against doing a rights issue and they're planning an additional public offer instead. And let me just briefly explain the difference. So a rights issue is when a company offers new shares for its existing shareholders to purchase. The shareholders are given the right to purchase the shares, usually at a discounted price. You can also have a renounceable rights issue where the shareholders can renounce their right, which makes the shares open to any member of the public who wants them. Now, the benefit of doing an additional public offer instead is that you have a wider pool of people to sell to. It's not limited only to your existing shareholders. Anyone can take up this offer. And the difference between an additional public offer, APO, and an initial public offer, IPO is obvious in the names. An initial public offer is when a company is offering its shares to the public for the very first time, the initial time. Meanwhile, an additional public offer is done by companies that are already publicly listed. So they've already had an IPO. Obviously, you can't have an IPO more than once since it can only be the first time once, right? So anytime after that, if a company that's already listed wants to offer additional shares to the public, they call it an additional public offer. Okay, now that the definitions are out of the way, let's, take, let's talk a little bit more about Cygnus. What do they want 35 million US dollars for? Let's hear Berries explain it. And as for the funds that you said you already have quite a few projects for which these funds are earmarked. Tell me a little bit about that. We are seeing demand in the energy space, so we have a few energy projects that we are looking at. Renewable energy? Um, one renewable and others are the normal type of energy in terms of distribution and storage. Mm. Um, we're also looking at opportunity in the transportation sector, uh, which is a very strong entity. And we're also looking at a manufacturing opportunity and uh, something in the hospitality sector. So we, we have a, quite a robust demand right across you know, the Caribbean. Well, you would have heard him mention hospitality. That opportunity has already materialized. 
In January, they took what was described as a significant stake in Aruba Wine and Dine, which brings us to the core of what Cygnus actually does, private equity. They basically invest in companies, help them grow, and at some point sell their stake for a profit. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can check the description box below for the full interview with Barris, where he describes more about Cygnus's business model and strategy. They're very similar to another company we know, Proven Investments, which interestingly enough, also has an APO in the pipeline. In fact, they had already opened their APO in early March, right before we had our first case of COVID-19, and then had to suspend it because market conditions just really weren't in their favor. Just a case of really bad timing. They've since announced that the APO will now close in June, but they haven't said when it will actually open. And Cygnus has been hit by the same situation re COVID-19. You would have heard Barry say that they were planning to come to market in early 2020. It's now mid-April and they're unable to say when they plan to actually open the APO. Because this disease is just really holding back these big business deals that have been raring to go, unfortunately. And we really don't know when the market will recover enough for conditions to become more favorable. And you know what they say, time is money. With everything stalled right now, a lot of people are losing a lot of money. Anyway, for now, Cygnus is waiting on regulatory approval, as well as approval from shareholders to pursue the APO. To do that, they'll need to have an extraordinary general meeting. But because of the pandemic, the date for that hasn't been set yet. Watch this space. As soon as I know, you'll know. I usually post breaking money news on Twitter and on my IG stories, both at Kalila Ray. Proven also posts business news regularly in their IG stories at We Are Proven. So follow these pages and subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Kalila Ray. Turn on post notifications. There's no taking stock this week in case you are wondering. Taking stock was on break for the Easter holiday and we'll be back next week. That's it for this episode of Money Mondays JA brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Stay safe.